In this video, we're going to talk about a simple PLC ladder logic latching circuit. And we're going to have our input cards wired up to our devices, our start push button, stop push button, and our output card wired up to our output, which is our light. In this example, very simple circuit. Uh, it's a ladder logic circuit, so this will be applied to all of the ladder logic PLC diagrams that you would see or even understand. So we actually do have, I'm going to explain the, the devices we're using. So very simply, you can see the circuit does work. It is latching itself in and unlatching itself. So to quickly explain how we actually, do, you know, this is done, that both of the stop push button and the stop, or start push button and the stop push button are momentary buttons, meaning when they're pressed, they spring back when they're not pressed. So if I were to press the button, it springs back when it's not pressed. Now I can hold it down and then, you know, as a person would be physically holding the button down and it would maintain the power going through to the input. However, this in, in this case, this is spring back button. So if I'm not pressing it, it will release and not allow power to go through to input zero. Now the start push button is a normally open button meaning when I press it it allows power to go through it because it closes the stop push button is a normally closed set of contacts so it allows power to go through it when it's not pressed so therefore we use a we use a normally open set of contacts on both of our inputs inside of the ladder so ladder diagram so that we can actually utilize the power flow correctly meaning if I press the stop push button it should release the power see it releases the power and then therefore not allowing power through to the actual input one and that in this case right here with all that said you can easily see the way the uh, two buttons work together to turn the light on and that turns the OTE on the back side of the actual uh, ladder so that when that that turns on the output zero turns on it latches itself in again as long as push button uh, the stop push button input uh, one is powering on so as long as it's still made it will allow it to latch in therefore turning on our light a very very simple circuit and very easy to understand uh, when it comes down to it I put the stop push button on the outside of the latch meaning I could have put that down here where the latch is but then if I did that and the button failed let's say the stop push button failed in the field you know in the the real world device if it failed then if I hit the start push button I do not allow any kind of power to flow to the output so I can hold the start push button down and no matter what it will not allow power to flow through to the output now that's again when ladder logic is done it uh, PLC programming is generally an opinion based system as long as it accomplishes the scope of work now the scope of work in this case would be not allowing the actual output to turn on if the stop push button is pressed and the uh, and and the start push button is not pressed or start push button is pressed and the stop push button is not pressed. So in this case, it will allow it to turn on, right? So that's the scope, basically the scope of work of this simple circuit. So uh, again, when it comes down to it, this is a, just an example of a PLC. Uh, circuit a simple ladder example a simple ladder diagram for those getting started again when it comes down to it you see the the buttons that we're using normally open they're normally closed the contacts we're using inside the ladder and how we're latching in this simple circuit now again i'll just show you that a couple more times and you see the way that works so it turns on the light and the light is on and again when it comes down to it hopefully you learned a lot from that and you understand that PLC programming is an opinion based system but when it comes down to it as long as it works reliably and the scope and it obtains the scope of work meaning it obtains the scope of work of the machinery that it is controlling and this simple example is just a latching circuit for an output for a light so with that said we'll see you guys on the next one